Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well, hope you're having a great day and thank you to everybody that subscribed. So I'm now going to be jumping into a live track and this is Genesis Dance on a Volcano um, and Los Endos and this was recorded from the Lyceum Ballroom uh, around about May 1984. I think it was their Duke tour. Um, Dance on a Volcano is taken from the album a Trick of a Tale. I think that was from uh, around about 1976. I have heard the very beginning of this song. It wasn't necessarily one that I was attracted to. My brother had the album Trick of a Tale. I do remember the title track, I think, of this album. And I have reacted to, I think I've reacted to Squonk um, already. And um, yeah, so this is, uh, I don't know, Los Endos, and um, I'm only aware of the beginning, like I said, I'm only aware of the beginning of his song. Uh, it was a bit, It. I think at the time, I liked the title track, Trick of a Tale, because, I mean, back in 76, I was probably nine years old, and it felt like a, um, like a bit of a nursery rhyme anyway to me, um, not too heavy either, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, Looking forward to seeing this live as well, so. And I think it was requested by, can't think of his name now, it might have been Nabil, Nabil, from, uh, anyway, that would have been from about two years, two years ago. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm hoping that this one doesn't get blocked, so. This is Genesis, uh, Dance on a Volcano, and Los Endos, which I assume is from the same album. So, uh, yeah, let's get playing. Let's get our own back. I'm 
Guys, forgive me, I'm just getting a bit of, uh, I'm getting the old uh, goosebumps here. Um, also, I just, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I've just got to wind that back a little bit.
was uh, Genesis with Dance on a Volcano, I think ending in Los Santos. Um, I do apologise, I'm not sure if it was a problem towards the end of that video as it was quite dark. Um, but right at the end we got the stage view again and the lighting I must say was absolutely amazing on this concert. I, I mean, obviously I've seen a few tracks now from this concert which have been really, really fantastic and He's got so much um, personality back then, um, you know, his stage presence was amazing. He was like a little, like a little devilish imp when he jumps around and challenges the audience. And yeah, the song was great. I love the way it began. Um, guitar, I think that may have been um, Mick Rutherford, maybe. And then, and then that kind of reprised towards the end. I'm guessing that came, that guitar came back just before Los Endos. Um, and I'm guessing that these are two entirely separate songs and maybe that the drum bit in the middle was a bit that linked them together. I really loved the drum bit. It's just, I mean, those drum sets are just like monstrously big and to see just two of them next, next to each other and them playing out against each other is just amazing. I think that was Chester Thompson on drums um, of course, not to uh, fail to mention Daryl Sturmer and um, the, 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 the little bit of keyboard in between as well, which was uh, Tony Banks as well. I kind of forget these names, but yeah, that was a really, really great um, set of songs together. Uh, really glad I, I reacted to that. Um, yeah, so the lyrics are really, really interesting and I just want to check something out actually because I want to see where Dance on a Volcano and Los Endos uh, come together. So I'm just looking at the track listing and uh, they've got it as Dance. Dance on a Volcano is in fact the first track on the album and uh, Los Endos is the last track on side two of the album. So um, they weren't actually connected together by looks of it. Dance on, a, Dance on a Volcano is written by Mike Rutherford, Tony Banks, Steve Hackett, and Phil Collins. Um, Los Endos was also written by Collins, Hackett, Rutherford, and Banks. Yeah, so um, that is in itself interesting that they've linked the first and last uh, tracks together. I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, lyrics and uh, see what I can understand from these uh, interesting Interesting lyrics. My first thought was obviously um, somebody who was, I took it literally as a, somebody who was maybe climbing a volcano or something for whatever reason. But I think as um, the volcano is a is a metaphor for something, and I I am thinking back to Supper's Ready, and there was a theme in Supper's Ready that made me think of like war um, and, I, and I just kind of feel that I was listening to little bits of this and it just I felt that this was maybe like um, alluding to maybe a uh, first world war or something I don't know why I felt that but um, a lot of the Genesis songs that I've looked into they tend to go back to either children's books, comics, but they tend to go back to the beginning of the 20th century. And obviously at the beginning of the 20th, 20th century, you had the First World War. So it wouldn't surprise me if this song is maybe alluding to something to do with the First World War. I, I'm i gonna read through and see what I can understand anyway. Holy Mother of God, you've got to go faster than that to get to the top. Dirty old mountain, all covered in smoke. She can turn you to stone, so you better start doing it right. You better start doing it right. So yeah, I mean, clearly that could be a volcano, but then... Um, dirty old mountain, all covered in smoke. But smoke could be smoke from battle, from war. You're halfway up, you're halfway down, and the pack on your back is turning you around. Throw it away, you won't need it up there. And remember, you don't look back, whatever you do. You better start doing it right. 
So uh, I think with that line, I felt that it was almost going over, going over the wall of a trench and you don't need your pack necessarily because it, it will just kind of like hold you back. Um, I'm probably cl clutching straws, straws here. On your left and on your right, crosses of green and crosses of blue, your friends didn't make it through. Out of the night and out of the dark, into the fire and into the light, well, that's the way your heroes go. So I'm just wondering whether the volcano's um, symbolic of like hell or heaven and this climbing a volcano is where you go, where you're going. Uh, if you're, if you don't feel you've got very much hope of survival. So maybe this is a war situation where you pretty much know that the last group of soldiers could go uh, over the trench, out of the trench and onto the battlefield didn't make it back. And, um, and if this is so, then I'm just wondering what the crosses, crosses are green and crosses are blue about on your left and on your right. Crosses are green and crosses are blue. It's something to do with um, different shells. They had one shell for tear gas, which was marked with one colour and said that the, felt the figure was a blue one that was just marked, which was just your standard artillery shell. But one of them was like had uh, must had some kind of tear gas in it, so maybe that explains that. I don't know. Um, anyway, moving on through a crack in Mother Earth, blazing hot, the molten rock spills out over the land and lavas the lover who licks your boots away. Hey, 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 hey! If you don't want to boil as well, if you don't want to boil as well, you better start the dance. Do you want to dance with me? So again. If I'm going to stick with this theory, I need to stick with that too. So maybe if you don't want to boil as well, you better start the dance. Could that be, the dance could be getting your gas mask out and the boiling would be how you feel if you inhale mustard, mustard gas, uh, which blisters your lungs and your throat. So yeah, that was a pretty amazing song all in all. Um, I'm sorry for my kind of long-winded um, delving into the lyrics, but uh, sometimes, with, especially with Genesis songs, um, I, I see a lot of meaning there, possible meanings, and um, maybe improbable meanings. And so I could be like way off a mark. It could literally just be about somebody's dream, or it could be about heaven or hell. Um, it could be about, you know, preparing to die yourself, um, naturally or otherwise. Uh, or it could be about war. Um, I'm just sort of reading, trying to read into it. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this. Do uh, Like I said, I do apologise about the weird video um, towards the end, but at least we've got, still got the music. And it was great to, to see this live. Um, I did get kind of goosebumps at one point um, because it was so, so good. Um, so, yeah, join me in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And... Uh, let me know if there's anything else I should be listening to off this album. So till next time, take care of yourselves.